Today, I'm going to talk about the best business that you could start with your kids and the best place to start when starting a business with your kids. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Greg from the Rolettes. Just got home from baseball practice. Kids are getting in the shower, and we are here for our daily video 10 days in a row. And one of the questions that I get from parents all the time when I'm at the baseball field, when uh, I'm talking at conferences, people are learning about the fact that Colt and I started this sunglass brand and it's been doing really well. And they're like, hey, I've been thinking about starting a business with my kid. Like, what should I do? And I wanted to answer that today because I have a very specific answer to that. And it is, I think that you should start a media business first before you start a product business. I think everybody should start a media business. I've been talking about this for like 15 years, right? Like you are in the personal branding business. You are in the media business. Those who build media properties always end up building an asset long-term. But let's talk about why I think, especially when you're building something with your kids, the best thing to start with is building a media property. Now, I don't care what kind of media property this is. It could be a TikTok channel, a YouTube channel, a newsletter, something like that, a Twitter account. But I think you want to start with media Because that is an asset. That is something that if, as you grow it over time, the products can change, but the media asset stays the same and the media asset continues to grow and it grows over time. It's like compounding interest. It's even like what we're doing now with these videos, this like series that I'm doing and, you know, trying to create videos every single day between myself, myself and Colt is because this is going to compound over time that as the business gets bigger, as this YouTube channel gets bigger, as more eyeballs get on this, well, it's a compounding effect, right? This is like a catalog of hits that people can go back to over and over and over and over again for a very long time. I have videos on YouTube that have been up for like 15 plus years that still get views to this day on businesses that I don't, I don't even know what those businesses are anymore. And so it compounds over time. So I think this is like really cool because you might start a product business. I've done this before, right? I started a supplement business. We grew it really fast, sold it really fast. And now like the product has changed. I'm still the same. My personality is still the same. Who I am and what I believe in and my ideals and all of that still the same. And I can use my media channel in order to grow whatever the next thing is. And so whether that's my Instagram account, whether that's my... Uh, you know, Twitter, whether that's my Facebook account, whatever it is. Uh, biggest thing for me has been email list. Like I always built email, newsletter, subscription, like I've been doing that for 20 years. And so I bring that with me wherever I go, whatever new business it is that I'm in and whatever venture that I'm in that I start. So it is portable. The second thing is that especially early on, the biggest question is like, well, what product do I create? What business do I start? What, you know, should I do a physical product? Should we start a coaching business? Should we start this or that or whatever digital products or whatever? And I think by doing the media, it's going to tell you what kind of business you should create because doing products is hard. You have to, you know, design the product, you got to design brand, you got to design logo, you got to, you know, go find the product, you got to source the product, you got to get samples for the product, you got to test the product, you got to send it back, you got to get it all set, you got to buy a crap load of inventory, you got to build a Shopify store or the WordPress site or the click funnels or like whatever it is that you're using, you got to build all that, and you got to get the shopping cart, like all that, that stuff is like hard and it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of effort. And when you're building something with your kids, your kids can easily just be like, nah, I don't, I don't want to do this anymore. And so I think with media, building that first, you start to see what ideas resonate, what gets them excited, them being your kids, right? So in this case, my son, like what gets him excited to continue to create content? What does he get excited to talk about? What are cool products that you're reviewing that like they really start to dig into? And over time, it just kind of tells you what product that you should create because your audience is going to tell you, your excitement is going to tell you, your interest is going to tell you. And it's much better to shoot like four or five YouTube videos and realize that you don't like Pokemon all that much than to spend thousands and thousands of dollars prototyping a Pokemon product and then realizing you don't like Pokemon all that much. And so I think that is so powerful because when you have this media property, the product can change. So as we build, the reason we're trying to build as much as we can under the brand of the the Brolettes, right? So our last name is Rolette. So we're the Brolettes, three boys, my, and then myself. Uh, my wife, Jen, stuck with all these boys. <clears throat> is that whether we're selling sunglasses, whether at some point we end up doing camps, which I'm really looking forward to doing at some point in the future, mental skills training, if we decide to sell pickleball paddles like down the road, if we, like, it doesn't matter, it can all be branded under the the brolettes because the brolettes as people 
are not going to change. And we're still going to have a relationship with the audience, you guys who are watching this today. So I think that is super important. And so when you're starting, you got to start with media. You got to start building a media business. The, the last thing that I'll say on this today is that as you build media, well, you start to build your confidence on camera. You start to, you know, connect with an audience. You start to learn how to speak better. You learn what points are going to get people excited. And as you're building a business with your kids, to me, that's one of the biggest skills you can ever build is building the skill of communication, building the skill of public speaking, building the skill of persuasion, of audience building, of grabbing people's attention. That is one of the most important skills you can build today. So start with a media business, before you go down the rabbit hole and spend months and months and you know thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, film some videos, create some content, build a media property, see where their interest and your interest is peaked, see where the audience is, see the intersection of all that stuff and the product. It's going to tell you like what you should make. All of this, doing all this activity is going to tell you exactly what product to make. And it's going to make it so crystal clear for you. That's why sunglasses became so crystal clear for us. We've been doing TikToks for a year before we went in and started the sunglass business. We're just having fun. We're doing challenges. We're doing backyard stuff. We're doing baseball stuff. We're doing all this stuff. And then ultimately sunglasses fell in our lap because in every video we were, you know, he was wearing his Oakley's and we were doing stuff and we were trying cool stuff. And we just knew that that was where we wanted to go. So if you're thinking about starting a business with your kids, start by creating a media business first. Start by creating content around yesterday, we talked about it around the things that you're curious about or your obsession, whatever your kids and you are obsessed with start there. All right. Rant over, man. I got the playmakers on today. I got the whites and it's a, uh, it's like a red mirror lens. Love these shades. They're my go-to. We are sold out of youth playmakers. We still have some adult playmakers on the site. Use the code spring sale. It'll save yourself 10 bucks. So I think they're 39 99 on the site right now. So save 10 bucks. Throw 29 bucks for sunglasses. Save yourself 10 bucks. Use the code spring sale at checkout. Grab yourself a pair. You'll get a handwritten note from Colt. We'll ship it out. We ship next business day. Um, in the morning before school, we ship out all of our orders. It's super cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a comment what you thought about today. If you think that I'm totally wrong, if you're on board, if you've started a media brand with your kid, I'd love to, sh you know, shoot me the link because I'd love to check it out. And, uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow.